Hi there, it's Azilia here from Tax World. Today I'd like to talk to you about Section 95 of the Taxes Consolidation Act 1997. Section 95 sets out additional rules in relation to post cessation receipts and the conventional basis. If you sell the right to receive money after your business has ceased, you have to pay tax on it. If the sale is not based on fair market terms, the tax is calculated based on what the sale would be worth in a fair market. Money received after the business has ceased, which would have been treated as earned income before the cessation, can be considered as earned income before the cessation. This helps in accounting it as relevant earnings for retirement relief. You can choose to be taxed on money received after your business has stopped, either in the final year of business or in the year you switch accounting methods. This choice can only be made if you receive the money within 10 years after the cessation or change and must be declared within two years from the end of the tax year when the money was received. This option helps to set off the money against losses carried forward and capital allowances in the final year or year of change, rather than the year of receipt. You can't use the same losses or allowances more than once. Any amount received for work that was in progress when the business ceased must be included as money received after cessation. Normally, this is handled by Section 90, but this applies if you use cash accounting and did not account for work in progress. Losses or capital allowances that weren't used before the business ceased can be offset against post-cessation receipts. However, you can't claim this if you've already deducted it under another tax rule. You can't deduct losses or allowances more than once against post-cessation receipts. Relief is applied to earlier years first and then later years. You cannot offset a loss against profits of an earlier period. I hope you found that useful and I'll see you in the next video.